Church, are you ready to hear the word of the Lord? Are you ready to hear the word of the Lord? I said, Jamie, give us a piece of the message. I know the pastor has come with triple, triple in the name of Jesus. Can you please stand as we're about to hear the word of the Lord? Please stand. Please stand. We're about to hear the word of the Lord. From the man of God, the one that God has anointed, the one that God has used him to lead us into the promised land. No other than Reverend Pastor Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm scared. I don't want to talk. Just touch someone standing beside you and say, God bless you. Just touch somebody. Just touch someone and say, God bless you. God bless you. God is here. And all the time. You see, it's very great to be in the house of the Lord. Can I hear you, man? Because here is why we can rejoice and be happy. So as we come together like this, let's forget about what somebody has said about you or did about you. Forget it. And let's appreciate one another. Tell somebody I love you. Love somebody, somebody, shout it out. Tell somebody that I love you. Tell somebody that I love you. You are special. You are special. I love you. I love you. I love you. What do you think? Let's give you I love you. I love you. Somebody shout it out. God is here. Let me do the next time I'm here. I'll give you a time. Somebody shout it Praise the Lord. God is good. I'm to Let's all leave the hands of the Lord Lord Jesus. This is my Bible. It is the word of God. And I believe in God. The creator of heaven and death that has power to take my life. And I live from today. My life will never be the same. You believe you shout me amen. Please be seated. Last week Sunday, as you all honor me and appreciate me, I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. Amen. 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 Whenever you, you lose one day, may God make your life double, double. Amen. 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 Now that we are alive, church, let, let us appreciate one another. Don't let me die before you appreciate me. Amen. Right now, I'm alive. Appreciate me. Amen, amen. So your sister beside you, appreciate her. Amen. Your brother beside you, appreciate him. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. If your children are here, appreciate your children. Can I hear you? Amen. If you're married and you're a wife or husband, appreciate somebody shout amen. amen. Don't give it in. And tell the person is dead. So oh, I love you so much. Now let me tell you this nonsense. <laughs> Somebody shout amen. amen. Praise the Lord. The person is alive now. Amen. I appreciate the person. Amen. We will take this opportunity to appreciate all the musicians. Woo! All the musicians in the choir. Junior Joe, Tammy, Sammy, Rashina, and then Doreen. And clap for the God of the Lord right now. What are we doing in the church? We love it. We want to do more and more. Somebody, somebody, we love you. Somebody, somebody, amen. Sit here, sit here. First, we love you. Somebody, shout amen. What are you doing? We love you. Today, you see how we shape this place. That's how we want it. You see how we got it. Our technique is our own. Somebody, shout amen. Praise the Lord. This house is built. The rest was fantastic. Yeah. The place was fantastic. Yeah. This is how we can do it. So whatever we can do, we can do it. God bless for the Lord of God. And then we we'll take this opportunity to appreciate Sister Judy. Sister Judy, stand up so that we can see you. Oh, come on, you can do it right now. Somebody shout it now. God is here. She's been doing a fantastic job. Amen. I'm trying to put her in the right place. She's Amen. very stubborn. And now she's been a hard boy. Hard boy. Someone tell me that. Now she's doing very well. Amen. So let's, let's appreciate her. Amen. Whatever she's doing in the ministry, she's doing her best. Amen. So let's appreciate her. At this time, the bus drivers, I will be the clock of us, a big opportunity. I will be the way I appreciate him. Somebody shout amen. Peter and then uh, Thomas amen. and Terry. These are the things we do. 
Yes. Every word I say, come and give you. Tell us, we appreciate you. Amen, amen. What are we doing in the ministry? What do you do? Peter, yeah, we love you. Amen. What are we doing to do? And God bless you so much. Amen. All the ushers. 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 Stand up right now. Ushers. Ushers. Oh, love you the ushers. Love you the ushers. Captain. I need it. Judith. Peter. And Laura. We, we, we love you. God bless you. Amen. Oh, my God. My God. We have to send you. What are we doing in the ministry? God love it. And I love it. Keep on doing it. And then the cleaning department. Stand up right now. The cleaning department. Oh, God bless you right now. The cleaning department. I need them. Tell me. And uh, Tracy. And Leroy. Molly. Molly. All that it is you that make the place beautiful. Amen. It is you that make the washroom clean. Amen. Amen. But you do it when you put it on washroom. Don't stop it. Sometimes it's very hard. But you don't do it for man. Praise the Lord. You do it for God. Praise the Lord. For Jesus. And then on the side, we call on Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon, stand up. The toilet roll and everything. Sister Sharon and I will say, get the reason. Oh, God, we have for them right now. We love you, Lord. What are we doing with the ministry? What are we doing? And God will make a way. Once there's no way. Can I say amen? amen. At this time, we call on the, the video group, Jean-Pierre Tennant. They are hiding. God, we for them right now. Jean-Pierre, yes. Now, the website is in control. They are working on it, and next week, Sunday, we will launch it. So you see all your pictures. What we do over here is it's, it's on the website. Amen. The whole world is there. Tell them to watch it. So Sunday, we will launch it. You see how you dance. You see how you stand in the church. When the music is going on, you will see it. They are working on it. God for Jesus right now. Amen. And then we have the Sunday school teachers, Rona and... Uh, Andrea and then uh, Yusuf, they are doing fantastic. God bless them. Mm -hmm. They are doing our children to the glory of the Lord. Somebody shout, Amen. God is here. And then those who, who sell the church outside. Yeah. Big party people, stand up right now. Get to it. That's it. That's the special thing. Stand up right now. Oh, yes, yeah, stand up. Tina. He is and you guys are doing a fantastic job. Walk it on for Jesus. Somebody shout it back. God is here. The gentleman need Chino. And as I went into the mechanic, they give me a bill of $700. I said, but I don't know why to check from the church to go and pay the room. Nobody can ever come and come with me. So I went into the church to $700. God is still. So if you're not buying to support it, you're doing the church hard. But for today, buy the Lord. Buy the Lord. Give somebody. Buy the Lord. Buy something. Somebody shall be back. And God will bless you. Don't be up for Jesus right now. I understand. I call Brother Scan, Jamie, and Nicholas Hammer to stand. Oh, God will help them. And then Junior, and then Teddy. These guys are doing fantastic work. They stand with me day and night. When it's raining, they are here. When it's snowing, they are here. Yeah, they can give me blood of the Lord on my car. Yeah, I love you. I love you so much. What are you doing? What do you do? Do not move left or right. Your Lord is not here. Your Lord is coming. Somebody shout amen. amen. Jamie, I love you. Amen. What are you doing? Don't listen to people. Just look at Christ. Amen. What are you doing over here? You're not doing for them. You're doing for Christ. Amen. Your work is coming. Amen. Keep on doing it. And I love you. Because I'm here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't listen to nobody. Amen. Do you, you're not doing it for me. You're not doing it for anybody. You're doing for Christ. Amen. Do it. And your life will not be the same. Just bring me the past. God, I'm going to pray for you. I love you all. Somebody shout amen. 
I said, shout amen. Praise the Lord. Church, let's all come together. As our sister Anne said the last week, that we need to fill the church with souls. We need to go out there and win souls. But they will look at different. Before someone will fool you, that person has seen something in you. And that the person will fool you. The reason why you follow me is that you've seen something in me. And that you look over here. Amen. 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 So let's go out there and win souls. Tell them that Jesus Christ is here. Win the soul. Bring them into the ministry. I stand God since I never have to be a soul man. Clap on for Jesus. God is good. And a long time. I was waiting, I was waiting when the Lord would be. Even though, even though it's a sister, she tried, she worked hard and bring her to Canada. Amen. God is here. So now I challenge you all, every church member from today must win a soul. And the person who will win a soul will have something special about you. So we start from now. Now, I don't mean to show you. Do your best every fall. Someone shall be right. If we appreciate ourselves together and love one another, this is what Christ wants to do on earth. The church will grow. The church will expand. The church will be the church of Christ. But if we ignore ourselves and disrespect ourselves, and begin to complain about ourselves and begin to fight with each other, then we will not see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. These days are passing by. We the soul for the kingdom. We the soul for the ministry. We need to get a crown. If you pass on, you will see him face to face. And you can tell Jesus, Jesus, I did what you told me to do. He said, We should go in the world and preach the gospel to the kingdom of God. And in souls into the ministry. It's our duty, it's our responsibility, it's everybody's responsibility. Let's do it together. So from today, I challenge everyone, every church member should be the soul. And your life will never ever be the same. If you do it, shout amen. If you do it, shout amen. Praise the Lord. God is here. And all the time. Not all our time must be time, but two. So everybody must come in time. It's time for Judy. Judy, you have to come in time. Amen. You come in time, I'll finish in time. Amen. And you're not coming in time. Today you are here to talk. And you're not coming How can you come in time? Come on, shout amen. amen. Praise the Lord. God is here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And today, I am preaching about don't stop doing good. Do not stop doing good. Sometimes when you do good, at the end of the goodness, will turn what? Shame and disgrace. But don't stop doing what? Good. So much love, amen. God be for Jesus. God be love for Jesus. Before I preach, I'll ask a question. Why people cannot do good? Why? Do good. Who can answer? Me? Why people? Why you? You cannot do good. Yes. I want someone to tell me something. Why people cannot do good? Because it's in the spirit. It's not in the habit of the man. Amen. So, who makes what? So if you're here and you're going to do good, it means that you need God to help you to get the spirit of what? Goodness. Because in the spirit, not everybody can do good. Some people, when they do good, they feel pain. Can I hear me, man? There's so much that you need them. They need to use the washroom. Can I hear me, man? Because in their system, there's no goodness. Today, may God 
Open up your heart, your mind, and any spirit that will not allow you to do good, I stand up by the word of God and I bound that spirit and I command that spirit to move in amen. Jesus' name. Can I hear amen? amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Don't stop doing good to others because God is good. Can I hear amen? amen. Don't stop doing what? Good. Because God is good. Oh, something shall be amen. The goodness you do will follow you all the days. The goodness you do to people. The goodness that you do to people. That goodness will be a memorial before God and before you. And the goodness will follow you wherever you go. The rest of your life. Someone shout, amen. amen. Do you know that doing good is a spirit that comes from God? Doing good is very hard. But the Bible says, where Jesus Christ went, he was doing good. Because the spirit of the living God was upon him. Can I hear you amen? It takes the spirit of God upon you, your father, your children, to do good. To see that someone needs help. Someone needs food. Someone needs shoes. Someone needs a clothes and I'll clothe the person. That's what the Bible says. When he was in jail, when I was hungry, when I was weak, when I was in goodness, when I was a spirit of goodness, my God, release spirit of goodness upon us so that we will live and see the goodness in the land of the living. Can I hear you, amen? Do good and don't stop doing good. Even though people will not appreciate you, but still. You don't know why? What do you do to people who don't talk about it? Sometimes it will prevent you from to do good. It's a spirit. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. Oh, clap your hands for Jesus. You see, that if the message is coming, then it's, it's, it's talking to you. Let's clap your hands for Jesus. I, somebody shout it now. Praise the Lord. And hallelujah. The people that are same people will rise up against you. Do you understand? The same people that Christ knew, the same people that Christ feed, the same people that Jesus Christ released the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon them, were the same people that crucified him. When Jesus was hanging on the cross of Calvary, he was still doing good. Can I hear him, man? He was still pleading for the children that, Lord, have mercy on them because they don't know who I am. If they know that I am the child of God that came from heaven to set them free, they will not do this to me. Can I hear him, man? Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. Do you know? The evil will remain with us all the rest of our life. The evil that we do also remain with us all the rest of our life. Anything that you do against your brother or your sister, anything you do against your children or your husband or your wife remains. To die. That's what I have decided in my life that I will do goodness to the rest of my life. Praise God! Praise God! Hallelujah! God is here at all times. Never get tired or let not. You get worried. Never get tired of doing good. Never get worried of doing good. Let it be a passion. 
Let me a lifestyle. Can I hear you? Amen. You see, if God gives you hundred dollars and then you can not pay ten dollars for God, you think if God gives you a million dollars, you can take another thousand for God? You can't. You need to practice it. The more you practice it, the more easy it will become. The more you begin to do good to others, the more it becomes powerful. When you're not doing good, you don't feel comfortable. Just like if it's Wednesday or Friday, it's not that somebody must tell me that I am fasting, and the body knows that. If I eat on Wednesday, I'll get sick. If I eat on Friday, I'll get sick. There's no way my body has a problem. <laughs> if I do not love you and give to you, I cannot sleep. When I go home from my bed, I can feel comfortable until I call you and sound the call. Do good unto others. Amen. Church, if we will do good unto others in ministry, what a big thing. It's a small thing that we are doing. That is destroying our lives. Small things. You see somebody, how are you? Is that, is it, is it, is it, is it, you see somebody, how are you? And somebody will walk by and not even say, how are you? Or good morning. Good morning, young lady. Husband and wife will be home. Husband and wife. Husband and wife. I said, husband and wife. Amen. Somebody shout, amen. amen. They can't even say, this one woke up. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm going out. Look at this. This is savage. Husband and wife. Kids and mothers. Mothers and children. You wake up home. Good morning, darling. How are you?
For the Bible says, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, plant a good seed in your life, and your life will never be the same. Can I hear you, man? Never get tired of doing little things for others. The little good things that you do remain in, in your heart forever. The little thing that you do for your brothers and sisters and neighbors will remain into your heart. Not a bit the little things. If you give somebody a car or a water, that was so my God. I don't believe. Most of you bless me with cards. They give cards. Some words that I look at in that church. But I want us to do it unto others also, not for me alone, but let's appreciate everybody in the ministry. Can I hear you back? God is here. We all know that God is good. Why can't we walk in the goodness? If you do good, the good thing you do, you do for your son. And if you do bad, if you do good, you do for yourself. And if you do bad, you do for yourself. God <laughs> is here. Spirit begins 
to show up. So if people that cannot practice what they do or preach, they are in trouble. So if I have, have a friend, and that friend is critical, that friend can never ever talk good. That friend can ne- not ever ever say good things from her life. Stay away from that person. Keep a distance. Let that person be far from you. Either the person will follow you or you will follow the person. It's two things. The spirit, spirit are transferable. So Jesus Christ came, he transferred the Holy Spirit to the disciples. For them to work as Jesus. When the Spirit took control of over them, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, their lives started to change. Peter, who was powerful, who was afraid, was able to stand and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and win souls of 5,000 within one day. Can I hear you, man? Because the Spirit, the Holy Spirit came upon them. Can I hear you, man? And the Spirit transferred unto them. And they begin to preach the gospel. You have to choose your friends. Make sure you are good friends. Who will encourage you? Who will motivate you? Who will tell you that's a matter what you're going through? God will make a way. Can I hear you, man? Who will tell you God is about to lift you higher? For the Bible says, by faith, by faith, as we begin to pray in the name of Jesus. God will never leave you or forsake you. You are a child of God and the glory of God is upon you. You are called by God. Can I hear you? Amen. These are the people that you need in your life. That they will motivate you. They will lift you high from the ground and make you somebody. No one that will press you down. No, no. We don't need to say hallelujah. Somebody shout in that. Can I hear you? Amen. Where things are high, they will tell you, it doesn't matter. Go make it. When there's no hope, they will tell you, with God, all things are possible. Can I hear amen? amen? We have to walk in faith. We have to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. We have to walk that what God has said about you from the beginning of creation will surely come to pass. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I said it doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. God will lift you up. God will bless you. God will bless you. He created you in his own image. You are here for a reason. The reason why you are here, God will make come to pass. But we listen to people who can do that. They say, You can do it. The same sickness came my mother. Can I hear you now? Somebody shout at that. It's all oh, as soon as I get the immigration case. I have one home. The same case happened to my friend. They said, I'm from home. No! You are not that person. Can I hear you now? Your man is not that man, can I hear you, man? Your man is within the life of God, can I hear you, man? Hey, please say yeah. Look and say no. Somebody shout it, man. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. Thank you very much, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, unmovable, always bound in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that the labor, your labor will never ever be in vain. Your goodness will never be in vain. Who told you that what you're doing for Christ will never be in vain? Have you forgotten when Lazarus was dead? Because of what Lazarus did, for Jesus. Because of what Lazarus did for Jesus. Amen. They gave nothing up. So what are you doing? Don't think that you're doing for me. No. You're doing for Jesus. Don't think that what, why am I doing this? To clean the church? To help pay the electrical bills? To help everything to come to church Wednesday and fast. No, I don't. No, 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 no. We better do this to help our children's children. Amen. You are the plant. You are building a plant. You are the foundation for your children. You are the foundation of the family. You are the foundation of the family. The curse of the family, you are breaking it. 
You are taking your family into another level. You are building your family into another, another level in a spiritual realm. But if you don't do it, who's going to do it for you? You want your children to suffer as you, you suffer. Look how you suffer when you're young. Look how you suffer when you're back home. Look how you suffer. Now God has put you in a place where you will build upon and your children and children will come and stand. You say, you don't do it. Let me separate you. I am building this church, not for me. How many years am I going to understand? But I'm building it for our children's children's children. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will never be alone. But our children will take over. Amen. But I am the foundation. But if I cannot put the foundation on, because that's my call, nobody can do it. And if I said I won't do it, why should I waste my time and build a foundation and then I will die and someone will come and take it? It doesn't make sense. You have to build it. And the children will come together and lift it up. Look what happened to Medical Jerusalem. The father started the mission. I will not even start ministry. That all these people, 60,000, 40,000, sitting down doing the work of God, they will all be in God. Dancing and killing people. But the Father planted the good seed. Now the Father is dead. Now look how many souls. Praise God. Now the Father is in heaven and said, Lord, I thank you. I planted the seed. The foundation was planted. Now look. Is in you. You are the foundation in your family. You are the foundation in your family. You are the foundation in your age that you will do whatever you're supposed to do for the kingdom of God's sake. For God to use you to do what you can do. Church, let us do good. It doesn't matter. Sometimes people will talk about you. She's all that. She thinks she's all that. Yes, that's what they say. Whatever you, you claim, say, I'm dead. Everything you have dead. But you have to do it. You cannot do it. Why are you talking about them? They're shy. They're different. You don't do it. It's all they do. And sit there all day. Church, but don't listen to them. If you listen to them, they will break you down. Because they are the evil spirits that are judging the children of God. You say, what I am doing, I am doing for God. I am doing for my children's children. Praise the Lord. And they don't know where you're coming from. Because our mind is not on this man, on, on this earth. Our mind is in the kingdom of God. Our mind is from here. We are not from here. We are just passing by. How many years are you going to live on earth? How many years are you going to live on planet Earth? You're not going to live here forever. 70 years most. And the rest, your back, your, 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 your eyes, your teeth, you can eat your teeth. You say, I'm not back. I said, I'm not back. My legs. It doesn't matter how much you love. 
It doesn't matter why you need it. It doesn't matter why you sleep on the floor or death angel knock your door. That day, that day, through the goodness of the Lord, Christianity is love. Christianity is respect. Christianity is humbleness. Christianity is not pride. Christianity is not weakness. Christianity is not disrespectful. Christianity is that, that I am, I am the head. I am. No, we are all together. Can I hear amen? We are all together. It's not Paul or John or Apollos. We are all together. We all can come together as a family. Then the kingdom of God will rise among us. And we will need to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So as we walk in the light, then our legs will not slip in darkness. And we will change our light. God's light. He once been in darkness. And he came to deliver us from darkness into light. Are you still want to walk in the light in, 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 in darkness? Light and trust the good things of the Lord, and the darkness and trust the wickedness of the devil. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Somebody shout amen. A day is coming while you will be lying in your basket. That time your eyes is closed, you can see no more. At that time, if your name was written in the Lion Book of Life, that was the day you will see the light of God coming from heaven to the heaven. And you will walk. Because the Bible says, absence of this body it is a presence of the real God. Absence of this body means when you die from this, your spirit within you must transform. When you die, your spirit will trust instantly in the presence of God. Let us do good. Let us walk in the light of God. Let us come together as a family. Let us do whatever we can do for Jesus' sake. We can do so. And that's what we are Let's read by our Bible verse. Then we die. I want you to open your Bibles to Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Don't be deceived. Be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, he will also reap. Church, I urge you, try and sow the good seed. Try your best right now, from today, right now, it's time right now. If your home is grown with all kind of weed, pepper, remove it and plant tomatoes, apples, something that is sweet. Stop planting pepper. It will go into your eyes. Can I hear you now? Praise the Lord. God is good. Now that's not a right of mistakes. Can't stop planting pepper. Your garden is full of pepper. It will go into your grand, your grand, uh, your mother in law's house. 
God is spirit. Because the one who sows to his flesh will bring corruption to the flesh. If you say you are going to be yourself and do everything for yourself, you don't care about nobody, you care about yourself and yourself alone, my God, you are doing yourself harm. Somebody praise the Lord. But the one who sows to the Spirit will reap eternal life from the Spirit. The one that sows to the Spirit, it means the one that is doing what is right in the sight of God, to the glory of God, whatever you're doing, and I'm telling you today, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God, your life will never ever be the same for you. He will never put you to shame. Let the whole world come up against you. God will vindicate you. God will slip you out. God will run all your tears away. Praise the Lord. Verse 9, and I'll finish right now. So we must not get tired. If you're doing good, don't get tired. If you're doing good, I said what? Don't not get tired. Of doing good. Do good. If they laugh at you, do good. If they insult you, do good. For we will reap at, at the proper time if we did not give up. At the proper time, whatever you're doing for others, that the others are laughing at you, if you never give up at the proper time, God Himself will be. Oh, can I hear him? Oh, I say, can I hear him? The God is given and all the time. Let's read this second and I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. Therefore, as we have what? Opportunity. We have the opportunity. We must work for the good, good of all. Oh. We have the opportunity. You have the chance. You have what the means. You have the help. You have everything that you need. You have the bags. You have the shoes. You have the wings. You have the food. And you're free. Get somebody, somebody, somebody back. Wait, stop. You have everything. So maybe see you go into the what you do. The, the woman are full of them. Shoes. Over 200. Bats over 200. Weeks over 100. Can I hear that? They have everything. But they, they keep it. No, keep it out. The one that they're not using, keep it out. Give it to somebody, somebody, somebody. Give it to somebody, hallelujah. Don't keep it. After all, after all, you have been rough. Some shoes, you will not wear it again. And see you have it in your room. How do you need to go out? Ladies, I'm coming to your house. The bag that you have, I will, I will, I will pack it and send it to Oliver. Oliver. Now Oliver is sent back. I said, well, I'm coming to your house. So much happening, man. All the bags, the Gucci and then the HM and the uh, uh what? The big one. And us. I will go to Oliver. If I get about 100 bucks, you know how much it is. 100,000. Because that bucks, some are 5,000 dollars, 4,000 dollars. If I get 100 bucks, 100,000 dollars. So, 40,000 dollars, a bag. You say, 40,000 dollars, one bag. Then if I get this bag, about four, I'll buy a house. It's a bad payment. So much of a guy. Praise the Lord. Church, the one that we do need. When I'm going home, what are we going to give it to? Let me go give it to them. When they see the man, they say, My God, somebody can give this man from from kind of last days. Look at it and say, Pastor, that will be what we're done. My God, I'll go to church. I'll run the back. Somebody shall be back. Praise the Lord. And somebody in thousands of lands is free. Do you think God will allow you and your children? 
Jesus, God, I said, well, and I give them the shoes. And they put their foot in the shoes, my God, Pastor. This shoes is so nice. It's like it. Wow. I'm going to go to church. Isn't that blessing? But here we have everything still with our shoes. We have food, we have bread, we have cars, we have everything. Place a card in your pocket. Every food that you want, eat it. But see that. Just let us be happy. Let us be appreciative. Let us, let us give God the glory that it's a blessing for you to live to see this day. If we can do that, I am telling you. The Lord who knows our mind, the Lord who knows our heart, will always multiply the blessing. When there is an accident, God will remember. She look ahead. She gives to the poor. Drive on, you kill this person. She's the apple of my eye. Amen. And the driver will just move. So much for me, Praise the Lord. Just to serve the living God. When Lazarus was dead, because Lazarus was given to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's when the disciples were walking in Judea, Galilee, and Samaria. Lazarus was given money. So when they go out for a week, they come back, they wash their clothes, they make it nicely, they, they eat, and they go back again. So when Lazarus was there, that's what Mary said, the one that you love is dead. But Jesus, who is the resurrection power of this life, Amen. told them, I am coming. When Jesus reached them, not only was Mary, but Jesus, Jesus, but you are late. Just 
Come, let's pray for you. You are righteous in Jesus. Let's all be righteous. Begin to God right now. That will happen to do good. In your ministry. Help me to help one another. In the name of God. Talk to God right now. Oh, yes, Lord. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Hey! Come on. We are so new. Jesus, we're going to hear you back. God bless you, Jesus, right now. 